So Macy, before we talk about your huge fight coming up for Invicta FC, I was curious, how uh, did you get started in mixed martial arts originally? So I got I started about six years ago. Uh, I joined like a self defense gym. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Krav Maga. Mm -hmm. So I got into that, and after a year uh, of doing Krav, I became an instructor. So I was teaching classes all the time, and I worked my way up all the way to brown belt. And uh, you know, probably about two years into that, I like had an urge and like. You can't just like you know go fight Krav on the you know it's street <laughs> fighting it's it's a lot of weapons and stuff like that. But I've always played sports mm -hmm. and I've always been super competitive, so I really wanted to get into something similar to Krav. So I started, you know, join like a an MMA gym, uh, Mushin, local here in New Orleans, and fought for them, amateur for about a year, and then I ended up at Mid City MMA. Mm -hmm. For so I've been fighting actively for about three years now. You'll be fighting on the Invicta FC 29 card uh, May 4th. How did it feel when you got that call uh, saying that you'll be fighting for one of the biggest uh, promotions in the world? Um, I was pretty excited. We kind of had, we've had a little bit of, uh, we've been talking to him for a little while now. Mm -hmm. um, we just didn't know if it was the right time to just yet, but it's just one of those things like you get the call, you can't pass it up. You have to, you have to act now. You got to look, you got to take it day by day, but I mean, calls aren't, they're not going to wait, right? You have, right. To, you, have to, you have to take it. You have to, you know, go for it. So uh, I'm glad we made the decision to do it and um, and sign with Invicta. So I'm, I'm so pumped. Like, I mean, it's been, it's been about five or six months since my pro day. We just haven't been able to find any. Like, right. we, we've been searching about for about five or six months to find someone we could find a fight. So as soon as we call, we were like, yeah, let's do it. Well, well, your next fight, uh, it'll be against uh, Allison Schmidt, uh, also undefeated. Tell me a little bit about her. What, what do you see in her game? Um, so, from what we've studied so far, we see that she uh, she likes the single leg, head on the outside, and she goes for a position from ground to standing called dogfight. I don't know if you're familiar with something like that. Uh, but, I mean... Five, six months I've been heavy boxing, kickboxing, and then the last like last few months, last maybe three months we've been doing heavy wrestling. We have like high level guys at our gym. So uh, this whole camp has been heavy, heavy, heavy wrestling and boxing. Mm -hmm. Walk me through a typical day of your training camp. What does a typical day look like for you when training? Uh, so my day starts at about 8.30 a.m. Um, Prior to that, I train people. So I, I'll, you know, just to make a little bit of money, I'll uh, do a lot of personal training. So I'll start my day at 4 a.m. Uh, and then I'll start training around 8.30. So I train around 8.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. And then I have a window from where I have like 2 to 5. It's kind of like my rest, my rest hours. And then uh, I go back at it from 6 to 9. 8.30 to 2 p.m. and then 6 to 9 awesome. at night. Now, uh, I had actually trained some uh, jiu-jitsu when I was younger, but you're a coach. What advice would you give someone maybe looking forward to, uh, to start training, maybe even possibly competing? Um, you just have to, you know, sometimes it's all, sometimes it's just, it just depends on the situation, you know. I mean, someone who's looking to train jiu-jitsu, you just got to jump into it. You know, you got to put all egos aside. You got to put you know, fears aside, and you just got to do it, you know, because um, it can be really intimidating for people. <laughs> I know especially for women, too, because, uh, you know, at the self-defense gym, I still teach there at Krav Maga, and uh, there's a lot of women that were just, like, nervous just to roll with men, you know, so I started, like, a community class on Saturdays, and once they got comfortable, they're like, oh, well, this is fun, you know, they started to actually take class. Mm. You know, they would go and take class with men, and they're like, well, it's not weird, you know. So it's like, it just depends on the situation. If there's a fear you have to overcome, uh, if it's, you know, an ego thing, you got to put it all aside because you just do, is, it, it, it doesn't matter who you are. It's, it's, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done, you know. Yeah, and you, same you got to put it all aside to get better at it. So you just, just jump into it. I mean, you just got to find a gym you like and jump into it. Yeah. I was absolutely horrible. I, I, I think the first <laughs> class, I think my arm nearly broke off, and I'm like, I, th I, I probably stick with the reporting aspect of MMA. 
you got to tap. You got to know when to tap. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. <laughs> I, I wish I knew that beforehand, but I did uh -huh. not. <laughs> now, uh, Macy, assuming um, you get the win uh, impressively, where are you hoping a win will elevate you to? Where are you hoping a win will put you? Uh, I kind of have an idea of what might come next after that because I've already had some calls uh, about it. So, you know, uh, winning this fight will probably have to end up fighting Felicia. And I've actually fought her as an amateur um, back back in the day, back in the day. Um, so I have a feeling that, that that's going to be the next step for us is, you know, I've heard some things about like a vacant belt and blah, 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 but it's, you know, it's still early and I'm taking it day by day, fight by fight, you know, mm. and uh, I have a feeling that it's probably, we're probably going to get a fight with Felicia after this. Now, for now, you're still very new to professional mixed martial arts. So, for fans who, are, especially Invicta fans who haven't seen you compete before, what would you want them to know about your game when watching you fight? What should they expect? Uh, probably a knockout. <laughs> very, very confident. Not ego, but very confident. We, it, it, there's just been a lot of blood, tears, sweat, and nonstop for about for about five months now. So, I'm very confident in my game. I'm very confident in my coaches and my team and you know, I, I believe that we've put forth extra over 150% every day. So, uh, and and I, I believe, I believe, I really do. Like, you're going to see some something good in the first round. Well, talking about your game, I've been able to watch several of your fights, uh, your amateur fights, and I've seen that you're very well-rounded, very calm. Uh, what is the best attribute of your game? What is the best aspect within your game? So, I would say my stand-up uh, kickboxing um, but now, you know, this camp, every, you know, every camp you level up. So, I mean, this, this camp and the camp before that, I mean, it's been heavy wrestling. Um, so, and, and several of my last fights I've, I've won by submission. So I always say I'm going to get a knockout and then I'll end up getting a, a submission and, uh, you know, it's crazy. Anyone you want to thank? I want to thank uh, my head coach, Sean Gayton, um, for all the time and, and work he's been putting in uh, for just, just me, you know, uh, and, and my fight camp. And just me in general throughout the years being with him. Uh, my coach, Damian, uh, my boxing coach, uh, my training partners, Brian, Brian, Fred, all my wrestling guys, uh, my sponsors, um, Hotel Bay, Like Sushi, uh, go lay down um, the file organization. I mean, without you know sponsors, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing now. I mean, people think that it's it's just fighting, and I mean, we don't really get paid much, you know. So it's it's having sponsors like that to back you up, to fly you out where you need to go, and train, and hotel rooms, and all that stuff. Uh, super important. Uh, my mom, my friends, and my family. Uh, there's, I mean. If my family, if I didn't have the support of my family, I, I don't know how I'd be able to, to get through all this day by day. Because it takes a lot more physically, you know, it's, it's a lot more mental, you know, every day trying to do this than anything. So, you know, without them, I don't, I don't know if I could do it. So I uh, just appreciate everyone that I have in my life. And thank you, Matt, for taking the time out of your day to, uh, you know, to talk to me. Of course, anytime, anytime. Uh, uh, lastly, how can people find you on social media? Uh, so you can find me on Instagram at MMA uh, Nola, and uh, you can also find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com/slash Macy Chasson.